Right, thank you very much, Mr. Townsend, for meeting with us. Oh, well, thank you very much for having me. We're actually very excited to have this new outlet for spreading the message about broadband and why its adoption is so important. So it really means a lot to us to have someone as influential as yourself willing to sit down and have this discussion with us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, could you start off by telling us why broadband is so important? Uh, I, I think broadband adoption. Sorry. Broadband adoption is important because there's so much information now on the web that uh, people have access to and it can make their lives better and I think a lot of times um, people uh, aren't aware of how much information is right there that can really you know, make their lives you know, better and I think uh, there's a lot of communities that don't have broadband and I think it's needed. Okay. What is your work with One Economy as far as promoting broadband adoption? Well, you know, uh, I'm the president of the V Studio, and the V Studio is designed to create content, you know, uh, so that people, you know, basically to teach people but using images that they are familiar with, and okay. then that way they can watch. Like the first show that uh, I created is called Diary of a Single Mom, and it's about three single mothers, and it's all about their struggles and what they go through. But the beautiful thing about the show is you can watch the show and then on the side of the screen there's a thing called the Make It Easy Toolbox. And uh, they can click on the toolbox and learn stuff that the characters are going through. Like one of the characters is trying to get her GED. So maybe you're watching the show and you're like, mm, I didn't get my GED, I didn't graduate. You can click on the box and say, oh, these are the steps if I wanted to do it now. One of the characters is having a... Uh, a health issue where she she might have a lump on her breast and so then if you're watching the show and then you say let me click over here and see what the symptoms are and it'll give you information so it really truly is the future. Oh well it sounds like a pretty great tool. Have you gotten a lot of positive response, a lot of hits? Uh, we, we've got uh, we've gotten a lot a lot of hits. I mean people are really responding but this is the very first so this is our we're going into our third season now and the numbers are really growing but, you know, we're creating something that hasn't been done before, so it's kind of like, you know, a, a growing baby. Okay. Well, with all of this content and all of these positive aspects of broadband, why is it that you think that so many people choose not to adopt? Uh, I don't think, it's not so much not to adopt, but I just think, you know, new technology is scary for anybody. You know, it's like being at the airport and you see the kiosks and you can get, print your ticket out, but people want to go, I want to talk to a live person. <laughs> and so I think it's that same kind of thing of getting used to being at the checkout counter and checking out your own food. You know, it's, it's new. Okay. What do you think we can do to get people to adopt more? Well, you know, I think... Uh, Every time you do an interview like this, every time, you know, uh, people, you know, hear about, you know, hey, I got this online and I learned about this online, I think it's going to start to drive people. So I think there's definitely going to be a shift. But I just think it's everybody doing their part and, and talking about it and those that really, you know, know, you know, what's going on to share that information. I think that's important. Okay. If you could explain to someone right now who doesn't want to use that kiosk at the airport and you know wants to talk to a live person, they don't think that it's important. If you could talk to them right now and tell them what's in it for them, how will it make their life better in five years, what would you say to them? Well, I think that uh, you know broadband adoption and what the internet has to offer can affect you on all sides of your life. You know, like for example, if you don't have the money to go to a doctor. There are things online that they can drive you to, you know, like, hey, this is a symptom. This is what you can do. This is holistic medicine that can help, or this is something that you could do. Or if you say, well, oh, my budget is kind of tight. You know, I want to get X, Y, and Z. It can point you in the direction to say, oh, did you know that there's actual savings that you could get, or you could do this, this, and this. So I think there are real practical benefits from, you know, being online. And I think the more people, you know, um, understand and, and not be fearful of, you know, the future and technology, their lives will be better on all levels. Okay. I understand that you and, Econ you and One Economy right now are working with the Digital Connectors Program to help get the youth more involved in broadband and help them take it back to their communities. Could you give us um, a little more details about it? And well, well, the Digital Connectors, I don't work with directly, but I mean, what they're all about is help wiring those communities because a lot of the communities, you know, like especially in the low income areas, 
they, you know, they're the last ones to get wired by the big companies because they want to go to the high-end neighborhoods, you know, the, the upper middle class or middle class neighborhoods. And so the digital connectors goes into those inner city communities and basically, you know, uh, wires, you know, housing units and, you know, brings them the broadband, you know, uh, for free, pretty much. Okay. So there's been a lot of positive response to the, to the Digital Connectors program as well? Oh, total, totally. I mean, because um, uh, people are directly benefiting from it. So if somebody comes into your community and they go, hey, we're going to wire your whole building, and people go like, we don't even know what the internet is, and then now you're giving us access, it, it's a really beautiful thing. And, you know, um, you know, hundreds and thousands of families have already been affected because, you know, once it's wired, it's there. Okay. Um, last question. What could everyday people do to help bring broadband to their communities, help individuals around them adopt broadband? Well, you know, I, I mean, I, I just think that those that don't have, you know, you know, really try to educate those that do have, you know, you know what I'm saying, those that don't have, you know, those that do have try to educate those that don't have, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I just think that um, uh, it, it's one of those things where what we're doing here in One Economy is trying to make it affordable, you know, and I just think that if you set, you know, an example, other people will follow, and we've got great corporate partners that have been working, like Cisco and different companies that have been on the front lines with One Economy and the mission here. So I just think that, you know, it, it's going to take time, but we're growing in the right direction. And, uh, you know, the ultimate goal is to help people make their lives better. And I think, you know, um, you know, things can be a learning curve, and I think we're winning, but that's what it's all about. And I think with the digital connectors, with the V-Studio and the content that I'm creating, you know, we're trying to make, you know, planet a better place for everybody, not just those that can afford it. Right, very inspiring words. Thank you so much for sitting with us and um, spreading this message about how great it is and important it is to adopt broadband. Thank you very much. Thank you.